Kelly Fab here and today I'm going to be decluttering. Well, honestly, I have been decluttering my collection as I've been going. I've been using things and just saying, you know what, it's not working for me. I'm not going to put it back in my collection. I'm just going to put it in this box and get rid of it. And my box is now full. <laughs> And there's a couple things that I want to give to girlfriends and stuff before they, you know, start turning or whatever. I don't think anything is like bad by any means. Most of the stuff is relatively new to be honest. But I just have quite a few things that I want to give away to friends and family and, you know, just get out of my box because my box is full and I'm sick of it. Anyways, so... So I'm not going to go in any particular order because I don't remember what order I put all this stuff in there, but I am just going to show you what I'm getting rid of and just go through everything because I knew I wanted to do a video, but I didn't know how I was going to structure it. And honestly, there's no point of like swatching everything and stuff either because I just, I like when people swatch what they're decluttering, but I don't want to swatch everything and touch everything because a lot of things I've already sanitized for friends because I know kind of what friends are going to... I already know like what friends are going to be getting what products or which products. So anyways, I'm just going to run through them really quickly as my dogs continue to bark at nothing. <sighs> I have this little Smashbox cover shot duo and this is in Golden Hour Eye and the duo is turned on and psyched. I'm going to be getting rid of this little duo. I got it in a Sephora play box, pretty sure. and. I'm just dropping it too and I'm gonna get rid of this I didn't like the formula and honestly I don't really reach for singles and I know this is like a duo so it's not technically a single but it's a single to me um I had previously put this blush in a cut in a project pan I'm not sure I think it was the seven deadly sins project pan that I put it in and I wore it for a solid month and I hated it because it's just it's not my color it's not super pigmented it's very very neutral and I have a friend of mine that loves neutral blushes and I think this would be a really good one for her um but me personally I just didn't like this one so this one is the makeup geek blush in infatuation I'm really looking to try out more makeup geek products especially that they're coming to target what what yes they are going to Target and I'm so excited to go in pick up some stuff because I just haven't wanted to put the order in because I don't want to order online. So I'm going to be decluttering this Makeup Geek blush. Then this was in my bronzer declutter and I said I was going to try it out. It is the Physician's Formula, um, what is this, City Glow Daily Defense Bronzer and this one is in the New York one. Here it is, here it's upside down. There you go. I tried this as a bronzer and I didn't like it. And then I was like, well, I can kind of concentrate my brush on the top and use it as a face powder. And it just was not the right tone for me. So it's almost brand new. I just, I used it enough to figure out that I didn't like it. So I'm gonna be decluttering that as well. And then a product that I freaking hate is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. And this one is in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. I just don't like this at all. It gets everywhere. I hate the smell. Oh my God. I just, uh, no. This is a big fat no for me. I picked this up from Walmart not too long ago. Oh God, I can smell it. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Why did I open it? Anyways, I hate this product. I know a lot of people love it and a lot of people use it. I just, I can't get over the smell and it, the fact that it gets freaking everywhere. I just don't like this. It's not my favorite. I know a friend will like this and I'm just, I'm done with it. I don't want it. And then this is the CoverGirl True Blend um, Lumina Naturally Luminous Loose Powder and this is in the shade 420 Translucent Honey. This is just too dark to be completely honest. I got it from Walmart and oh I taped it so it wouldn't get all over the place because I'm smart like that. It's just too dark for me and I don't think I'll ever use it honestly. So I'm getting rid of it. I'm done with it. Then I'm getting rid of the Soap and Glory Glow All Out Super Luminizing Highlighting Powder. And it's kind of got a pink tone to it or a pink tint to it. As you can see, I tried to use it and I just don't like it. It's not my thing. I'm not sad to see it go. I actually picked it out of this declutter pile to try out again with a different brush. And I was just like, why? Why did I do that? I don't like it. I don't like it. And then I'm getting rid of something I never thought I would get rid of. 
but I just don't like it. I almost want to just empty it and like do the back to Mac, but I'm not going to. Anyways, <laughs> so this is the MAC Pigment Color Powder, and this is in the shade Rose, and it is the full size. This was like from the Christmas Nutcr Nutcracker Collection, and I just hated it. It's so chunky. It does have, it's like a pink letter with like a glow of like a shift of gold in it, which I think is really pretty, but the glitter is just so chunky in this. It gets everywhere. I'm scared of it getting in my eyes and scratching my eyes. I just, I don't like this. This is a no-go for me. I'm getting rid of that. Then this Sassy and Chic CC Color Correction Cream, Multi-Action Skincare and Makeup, and I'm getting rid of this one. I can't remember what color this is. I think this is in like light or medium, and I just hated it. I didn't like it at all. It just, mm, it's in light. Um, it just didn't work for me. I didn't enjoy it. This I think I got from the Dollar Tree. I don't know, I'm not sad about it, seeing it go. So I'm getting rid of that one. Then I also decluttered my Wim Nail Lacquer in the shade Marshmallow Muse, Moose, whatever. Um, this one cracked my nails a ton and I was super dissatisfied with it. I do like the color, the white is really nice. I got a lot of compliments when I was wearing white nails. I have since been giving my nails a solid break because they needed it, but yeah, I'm getting rid of this one as well. It's like almost full still. So honestly, if somebody can use a base coat and use it, I would love for them to have it. But for me, it's just not gonna work anymore. Then I'm getting rid of this IBY Beauty highlighter in Bubbly. This is just too pink of a, eyelet or of a highlighter for me. You guys can't even see it there. It's super, super pink. It just, it doesn't work for me. I do love this formula. It's a wonderful formula. It doesn't grab onto texture or anything like that. But the color, no, thank you. If it was like a champagne-y color, it would be perfect. But the fact that it's a pink color, just no, doesn't, it's not, really, I'm not rolling with that. Same issue with this one. This is the Dirty Little Secret Baked Highlighter, and this one's in the shade Bellissima. And this is the same issue I have. It's a very pink highlighter. Um, the formula is really nice on this. This is a baked formula. But the fact that it's the pink highlighter, no, thank you. Pink highlighters, they just don't look, I mean, they look okay. But I don't, I don't ever reach for them. I don't really like them. Like when I put them on, I'm like, eh, it's okay. Like, <laughs> and I don't want to feel like that. I have so many highlighters that I love that are like that champagne tone and they look so good. So it's like, why am I going to reach for something that I just don't love? So that's silly. This is something that is literally brand new. I have not even opened this. And it makes me sad, but these just didn't work for me. I got no color payoff in this whatsoever. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder Compact, and this one's in the shade Natural Buff. I think I'm going to send this to um, Paige from Thrifty Beauty. She does live in Michigan as well, but I know she loves this, and she hasn't repurchased it for, I can't remember what reason. I know she's like trying to use up a lot of her stuff as well, but this one's brand new. I haven't even opened it, so I think I'm going to send this to her because I know she likes that. And then this one I have opened and I actually tried to scratch the top layer off, but there is like literally no pigmentation on this. Like, it just like disappears on my skin. Like, choop, it's gone. Like, why? Why? Ah. Anyways, but now that I'm like rubbing it more, I'm like actually getting some powder payoff, but it's like, no, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm getting rid of this right now. I don't like it. I, I remember I tried it and I tried it and I tried it and I don't like it. I know a lot of people like it, but I don't like it. It's going on my declutter. I put it in the declutter for a reason and it's going there. You guys saw my last declutter. I got rid of <laughs> all of my concealers. I am so sick of concealers. I never wear them. I don't have blemishes enough to have to cover them up. I don't wear liquid foundation enough to use them with my liquid foundation. I got rid of all of them. So I got rid of this brand new NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer and this is in the shade Fair. And then the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. I'm gonna give this one to a friend of mine at work. I know she wants to try it. She hasn't purchased it, so I am gonna give that to her. And then this um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I've had this for like two years now. I just, I don't use it. This is in the shade Light. And then I have two of the Maybelline Dream Lumi Highlighting Concealer, that's what they're called. And they're both in the shade Ivory. One of them is brand new and one of them is used and I just, meh. So these ones I am gonna put in a, um, a bin for I don't know, maybe a giveaway or something. I haven't used either of them. So maybe we'll put these in the giveaway bin since they are brand new, but these ones I'm gonna just see if friends want them because I know that friends don't 
think I'm nasty. You know what I mean? Anyways, so those I'm going to be getting rid of. And then this shape tape one I'm going to give to a friend of mine that I know wants it. So there's that. Another brand new item. This I actually got in my BoxyCharm this month. This is the Adas High Definition Liquid Lipstick. I'm just, I'm so sick of liquid, liquid lipsticks right now. And I don't even want to try this. I don't even care on it anymore to try this. There's no color on this, but it looks really, really pretty. And I did like go like this and see like it looks really nice it looks like a color that I would definitely wear but it's brand new I've never used it and I'm like you know what I might as well pass this along I'm gonna put this in my um, giveaway bin for one of you guys once we get to a thousand subscribers we're almost there um, but I have a great giveaway coming at a thousand subscribers so I'm really excited about that so this will be in there as well then I have this Mica Beauty Cosmetics this is the highlight 03 shade um, it is a loose highlighter but it's very very glittery I don't mind glittery highlighters to be totally honest but I just never used this. I literally had it in my drawer for an entire month and I didn't reach for it once. That tells me that I'm never going to use this. Even if it's in my drawer, if it's in my everyday makeup drawer for an entire month and I don't reach for it one time, that's pointless to have. So I'm getting rid of that one. Then I'm also getting rid of this e.l.f. highlighting, or no, I'm sorry, illuminating palette. This is a four shade palette. I just never use this. I've not reached for it one time. Makes me a little sad that I'm not reaching for stuff in my collection, but these are a little bit powdery for me, and I don't know, I just, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so spoiled about my highlighters that I find really good formulas that I love, and there's really nothing wrong with this one, I just don't ever reach for it, and it's a little bit on the powdery side. So for me, I'm gonna just pass this along while it's almost basically brand stinking new. Why not? And then this one is a um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. I just hated this. <laughs> this is the one with like the four different toned shades. I tried to mix it all together. I tried to use them individually. This reminds me of the Snow Bunny Bronzer from Too Faced. If you guys know that bronzer, it's like the one with like the multiple shades in it. That is what this is trying to do. And I hate them both. Why would I buy this one? I don't know. I bought this one a little while ago and I kept trying to use it in my collection and I just hated it. So there's no point in me keeping this. Once again, I'm just gonna get rid of it. So I'm gonna get rid of two of those. And then I have this Temp2 Liquid Glow from BoxyCharm. This is a liquid highlighter and it's supposed to like shake it up really good. It's supposed to be used with like an airbrush machine. Obviously I don't have that, but I was using it like under my makeup and stuff like that. And I just really don't like these liquid products. I don't end up using them. And I'm very, very picky with the formula on these. This one's a very, very liquidy formula. And if I want a like liquid glow, I have a Becca one that I've been using not very often or the ColourPop um, Super Shock ones that are good for the liquid formula or like a cream type formula and I just didn't like this so I'm gonna get rid of this as well. And then there's one more thing I was getting rid of. It's just like this little sample of the Platinum Skincare Nano Hyal Hyalonic with grapeseed, with grape stem cells in it. And this is just like a little sa sample guy. I used it a couple times, I'm pretty sure it was breaking me out. So I'm just gonna pass this along and see if any of my friends want it and see if it works for them. Cause I know that formula works for a lot of people. It just doesn't work for me. Okay, and then I'm gonna quickly go through the brushes that I'm getting rid of. This e.l.f. body brush. I don't even know what it's called, but I called it the body brush. And then I got rid of this these elf brushes here if you guys want a full review on all of my brushes i have a brush de collection and declutter i can link it down below but i'm just going to go through them quickly because i put them all in this bin this is the me 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 like powder brush this is the elf foundation blurring brush the elf highlighting brush that's a little bit bent <laughs> the wet n wild shadow brush the elf foundation flat brush the elf I don't know, like concealer type brush. This is the Tarte, I think it's like contour and something cream blush or brush, I don't know. And then the e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush or angled you know, shadow brush. This is the Tarte dual ended brush. Then I have the crown brush from BoxyCharm. This is like the artiste type of brush getting rid of that. This is the Wet n Wild like lower lash line brush. This is the Coastal Sense. I think it's like a contour type brush. Oh, and there we go. 
Okay, and then the e.l.f. little teeny tiny brush, another e.l.f. brush. This is from Lorac. It's like an angled shadow brush. This is from Ulta Beauty. This is another one of those e.l.f. flat top brushes. This is from, I don't know what the brand is. And this is another e.l.f. brush, another Wet n Wild shadow brush, another crown brush. This is like a dual fiber brush. This is the e.l.f. Small Precision Brush. This is the brand new Luxie 254T brush. This is the Bare Minerals Foundation Brush with a little like hole in the middle. This is the e.l.f. I don't know, Lower Lash Brush. This is the e.l.f. Shadow Brush. And then I actually have two more makeup items that I completely forgot about because I'm silly like that. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil, and this is in the shade Striking Copper. This did not stay on my lower lash line at all. I put it on, it like disappeared immediately. So I'm getting rid of this, and then I'm getting rid of the Trust Fund Beauty That Glow, though. I tried to use this in my 12 Pans at Christmas, and I hated it. So I'm getting rid of it. It's pointless to keep it. I might as well see if a friend wants it. So anyways, that is my entire bin of declutters that I have. Not empties, but declutters. And I wanted to show you guys all of that before I pass them along to friends and family. I'm going to take them to work and just see if any of my friends want them. I, <laughs> It's silly to try to, you know, sell stuff like this because a lot of the times it's like used and touched and stuff. But I do like to sanitize most of my items before I give them to friends, even if they're going to sanitize them anyways, or if they don't think I have cooties or anything like that, which I don't. <laughs> but I like to clean stuff before I give it to friends because that's just what you do, I guess. Except for the brushes, I told them. I was like, I decluttered a bunch of brushes and if you guys want them, that's fine, but I'm not gonna clean them before I bring them in. And they're like, oh, that's fine. Just bring them in, we'll clean them, you know? Cause I would assume like if I got a brush from a friend, I would probably clean it before I used it too, you know? Anyways, so that was my little declutter for the first four months of the year. And I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing, just putting a bin under my desk and just getting rid of stuff as I go that I don't like, I didn't, you know, I didn't use or, you know, I'm not satisfied with for whatever reason because it's silly to keep things around, you know? And the only things I am not showing you guys, I will grab them. I did declutter all of these lipstick lipsticks from my lipstick roulette that I have going on and I'm not going to include these in my declutter to my friends yet because I want to do a final count at the end of the year of all of the lipsticks that I decluttered throughout the year and kind of show you guys where I'm at in my progress with that. So at the end of the year I'm going to show you guys all of the lipstick items that I ended up decluttering and then I will pass them along to friends in like the Christmas time basically and see if anybody wants any of them. But I'm, I don't know, should I keep them around? Let me know in the link below. You guys, I'm gonna put a poll up here. Nope, this side. I'm gonna put a poll right here. Let me know if you guys think I should just get them out of my collection and not have a final count at the end of the year. And then, um, or let me know if I should keep them and show a final count of everything I decluttered at the end of the year. Let me know up here. There'll be a question. Can you guys just answer it for me, please, so that I know or leave something down in the comments below on what I should do with those. Because I'm really, I don't know, I want to give them away before they go bad. So should I wait for the whole year? I don't know. Because that's like another year that they're going to be sitting there while they've already been used. Do you know what I mean? Let me know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little declutter. I was gonna say quick declutter, but I guess it wasn't that quick. But anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.